presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To Master relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 468. NASDAQ's up 460. S&Ps are up 101. Gold contract up $18.20, trading at 1753 an ounce. You got silver up 51 cents, 19 dollars 5 cents an ounce. Platinum's up 1750, 881. You got uh, copper up eight cents, three forty-six. Notes and bonds. This is the wild one, man. You get the ten-year note up ten, ten ticks, trade trading one forty-two fifteen. The thirty-year up one, uh, up eleven ticks at one forty-two fifteen. And king dollar, king dollar uh, is down seven hundred and fifteen ticks, trading at one hundred six four seven seven. The euro is at one hundred one. The yen is at uh, one thirty-six, and the British pounds is at one twenty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at it. What do you have? So the Federal Reserve come out, got the three quarter point uh, it raised. So we're two point five bank to bank right now. Bottom line, folks, the market didn't even blink. It didn't even blink. I mean, you know, normally you get an up and down on it. Didn't even blink, man. It just kept going uh, top side. So. If we take a look at this um, SPY first. Now, this is going to get so interesting, man, because the SPY could actually do the number. We need 20 million more in this SPY. And if, you, if we get it, guess what? You're going to have a monster ABC structure on the way up, okay? This is a 70, uh, 20, 20, 29.8 to B, which would uh, get you uh, somewhere. Let's see. That would be 420. And 414, 417 is the next swing point. And yeah, that's, this is going to be intriguing, man. The bottom line is this market wants to get up to the uh, June 1st level. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do you see in the NDX 100? Bottom line, same type of setup. Uh, we'll see. It looks to me like the, the, the NDX is not going to do it today. I expect it will do it tomorrow. 308.59 is the number. You know, you, you reach the 308.59. Now, what's going to be intriguing is that the June 1st level and the NDX is, uh, the August, uh, June 1st, yeah, is that 314. Well, it's going to blow way over 314. Uh, 308, yeah, you get 28 bucks. So you're talking about, uh, uh, you get, that's 323. Where's 323? So the swing's 314. 323 is the next level, 330. That's how this baby's set up here. And if you want to see something wild here, watch this, folks, okay? Because if you're into day trading, we had an ABC structure up in the NQs this morning. And, you know, bottom line is that this is a very large one. It's like, okay, man, are you really going to do this today? Well, it did it, man. And here it is. You know, you can see it's pretty clear, man, but it's it was insane. And it was right off the bat, man. I mean, you can see at 10 o'clock, well, 9.30 this morning, blows away the B point. It was a monster ABC. 
your price projection was 12520 And, you know, when that broke that ABC, you were only at uh, 313 So um, if you understand ABC structures, we're in an ABC market. We're, we had been in an ABC market all the way down. Bottom line, did it. Now, guess what? You are getting in an ABC market on the way up, and it's going to blow some minds here, man. That's the bottom line. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have? Gold contract finally caught a bid. Bottom line, you're up 19 bucks. The let's go take a look at your volume characteristic out here. Okay, we're still going to need more volume. We only got 106,000 contracts. It's not a lot of contract volume. Let me see what this is taking out. You probably have a small ABC up though. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you do. Let's see what is that going to be. So you got 17.55. Okay, so you got a 61A to B, which gets you 71, 81, 91, 87, 17.87. You get an ABC up right now to 17.87, and it's going to be 18.08, folks, inside the gold market. 18.08. That's ice. You know, we'll see how it handles when it gets up into that level. Good old King Dollar. King Dollar is cooperating in a monster way out here, and that's what it needs in order to basically the market to get the higher price. So what we had out here today is that King Dollar failed at 107,426. Your benchmark, just keep your eye on this benchmark because we're below the benchmark again. The benchmark we're talking about is 106,729. Now, here's the kicker, man. If we can get the price spread that we got today, tomorrow, you have a total break of this trend. And that would be saying that the doll is going to go out of 101, 297. If we get that, folks, we get that break. This is where this is really important, understanding currencies. Because we, the correlation is direct between the U.S. dollar right now and the stock market. And that changes, too. But the bottom line, it's been direct, and it's been direct, really direct for about a month, month and a half, two months. The bottom line, if you get that break, you are going <laughs> to... The commodities will run, the stock market will run, the breathing room in the market will be exceptional. That's the bottom line. And you'll see that, uh, and you'll see it very quickly. Uh, you got, what, you, what Powell got out here today, the bottom line, is that, and this is, this is wild, man. You can see they went up three quarters of a point. He says he's not backing off also, okay? And the market just doesn't even look at it. Doesn't, they, I can tell you, for, at 2 o'clock, and even after he started talking, well, at 2 o'clock, it just didn't move, man. I mean, you know, normally you can go up 20 S&P points, down 20 S&P points, okay? But didn't move. It didn't move. And all of a sudden, as soon as it didn't move for like 5 or 10 minutes, you know, the market realized that, oh, we're going higher again. And sure enough, that's what ended up happening. As soon as he started his uh, news conference, um, you know, bottom line, it takes off again because then there's more basically disclosure of what they're looking at. And, you know, the disclosure is the same disclosure he's done every single time. He's going to look at the data. And what did change is that now they say they're going to go meeting by meeting. As soon as they say they're going to go meeting by meeting, that's when the market took off in a monster way because they were pushing out the analysis much further. Now, bottom line, is going to go meeting by meeting. Dow Industrials is up 447. Nasdaq's up 445. S&Ps are up 98. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 475. Your Nasdaq's up 451. S&Ps are up 100. Let's go to a John in St. Pete. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How's it going, buddy? How you doing, man? Doing wonderful. So what would you like to look at first? Uh, either one, either FIS or TQQQ. I'm looking for entry points on both of these. Okay, so let's go to FIS first, because what we have here, you got uh, Fidelity National. Okay, this is uh, a payment service for provider. Uh, the low is $85, the high is $152. Uh, this looks like it's going to be an ABC structure up, John. Uh, what, you do, what you're doing here, you know, yesterday was a sweet little deal. Um, you know, I know it closed down, but you're really, that's actually pushing that swing with volume. So, you know, you could get in here let me just see when they're coming out with numbers let's see okay august 4th they're coming out with numbers and uh, i just pulled visa up <laughs> it's hard to tell it's, uh, it's funny visa tra traded from 201 to 216 today but the bottom the bottom line is that you could uh get in here and you know you, you put your stop under the low of yesterday low of yesterday is at uh, 96.37 uh, right now, as you're trading 98, and you, what you're looking for, you're looking for a bust of that B point, right? With 1.2, 1.7 million shares. Because if you get it, you get, uh, let's just see, that's, that's 99, yeah, you get a nice one. It's a 9.8 to B, which would give you a $105 uh, price target. And the $105 price target is up at that June 1st area, John, which is kind of set. It's a nice setup, do you know what I mean? Um, Great. The TQQQ, okay, so you know that these are daily investment vehicles, these ones, right? Yeah, I was looking at trading options on this. Oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at it. And in these options, folks, on this, if you think that the, the leveraged equities are volatile, the options are, like, amazing. Uh, nice way, a great way of doing them, though. There's no doubt about that. Uh, what I would do here is just wait a bit because if the my so so this is so watch what happens folks you know tq let, let me i'm going to bring up the index first so you heard at the beginning of the program what had happened is that the the nqs had an intraday abc structure up and they did it they reached their projection now that being said um let me just look at this so if, because this looks like it's setting up an abc structure on the way up 
And I wouldn't be walking right into this right now, you know. And listen, man, it's real possible this market just won't stop. I, I get that, too. Uh, but when you get a run that the NASDAQ is up uh, three point, let's see, we're up three point, we're up four, almost four percent right now. Um, you know, you, you can't walk right into this, man. That's the bottom line. You know, you want to, you know, you want to walk into this in some kind of a pullback and maybe you'll get it tomorrow. Um, you know, Amazon's going to be coming out with numbers. Um, I get, I get a whole list of them and I'd be happy to, to go through that. Let me just, but do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the hard part here because you know you, you're we're right in the middle of earnings season and then like you get this little pop today, and maybe you can explain something to me when you get a moment if you don't mind. I'm trying to really grasp and understand why the market's doing what it's doing when our interest rates are going up uh, so high. Why, why is it why is it keep going up? I'm I'm expecting it to retract a little bit, but it's not. Great question. Okay, so. <laughs> When we talk about the interest rates going up, so watch this. I'm going to pull up the Fed funds rate first, okay? And what has happened is no doubt the Federal Reserve, okay, bottom line, has raised rates. And right now they're, you know, we were at zero three months ago and we're at 2.50 right now, okay? Now, that being said, now watch this. Now we go to the three-year. As, as, I mean, the 10-year, the actual bond that makes a difference on mortgage rates and everything else. Well, what has happened is that we got to 3.4, and that was only like three and a half weeks ago, and now we're 2.7. So this has gone down so fast, it's unbelievable. And that makes a difference. That makes a huge difference, man. And listen, people can continue to be buying, you know, these bonds hand over fist, and if that's what ends up happening, these rates will actually keep going down versus going up. So... Yet the dichotomy of, yes, the Fed is raising rates, but guess what? The market is bringing rates down. And the, and the rates that we, you and I, care about is the 10-year. The, the, the Fed funds rate, we're not a bank. It doesn't matter. Do you know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. It, well, I, well, it doesn't matter. It's the wrong term, okay? It matters. So I get what you're saying. But, you know, the bottom line is that um, this market wants higher price, man, and... You know, the the higher rates are not killing everything. That's the that's the other side of it. And you know, so let me talk about housing for a second. There was a great article, folks. If you can search this article on Bloomberg, I believe it was Friday. And what it was about is this. It was really cool. It was the they were this writer was explaining that the housing market is so upside down, it's unbelievable. And what 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 he or she was saying is this. So picture, and, and I know this because I was lucky enough in like the last depression that I just went all in. It didn't matter. I stopped building. I stopped doing everything. Okay. And it, it worked out. Okay. Because the bottom line is, is that when you're at the bottoms, things are less expensive and what ends up happening, everything's less expensive. Okay. So uh, now, now, now picture at the high. So we're at the high now, right? And what does happen, you know, all the big builders are pulling back. And as soon as that happens, everyone starts getting laid off and all that. Okay, so it, it, there's a cycle that happens there. Now, the insane part about the cycle is that in the United States already with 2.1 million sh housing units shot. So what happens is that as the, as the rates go up, the builders pull back, which they, you know, if they're too over their head, that you have to pull back. That's the real bottom line, especially... And as that's happening, all that's really happening is that now we're going to be short housing even more. And then what ends up happening is that the people that we're going to buy, the interest rates has taken them out of the marketplace because they can't buy. So now they got to rent. But then the renter prices are so high that that stays up. My, my point in all this is that this market wants higher price and it looks to me like this recession is going to be the recession that everyone thought it's going to be a recession. It's not going to be a recession. <laughs> That's the bottom line. <laughs> so deviant, right? I mean, it's deviant. There's no doubt about it. But we're going, we're going up and this, this market, uh, you know, got used to these rates pretty quick. 
Appreciate that insight, Tom. Thank you very much. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And it takes a while to get your head wrapped around that, folks. If, if you pull the article, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's, it's a great article, man. And it's, it's real. It's real, man. I mean, that's the bottom line is that, that this cycle, um, you know, well, first off, the downdraft is, is amazing. So we'll see how this goes. But, you know, the way that the market reacted today and going up three quarters and then saying, hey, man, I don't care what you do. I'm going higher now because we've already got slammed. You know, listen, some of these stocks that get slammed 50 and 60 percent, folks, OK? You know, bottom line is that it wants higher price right now. Dow's up by 529, Nasdaq's up 484, S&P's are up 111. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials are up 560. You get the NASDAQ up 509. S&Ps are up 116. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, we're doing okay, Tommy. Great to hear from you, man. So, we'll Inter get... Interesting day in the market, uh... You know, unexpected is always there, isn't it? You know, I mean, you know what I do, Frank. I mean, this thing kept coming down. There's no volume, man, you know. And yesterday yeah. did it. Yeah. When when there's wide price spread and there's no volume, that, that's, yeah, the sellers are done, man. That's the bottom line, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, what has happened, and, yeah. and this is, happens, folks, okay, because when you're at lows and you come down so quick, you know, unfortunately, people are going to keep shot, and then that's what's happening, like, right now, because that's why you can see that the S and P's we we went to that one yeah you know, up 105 then back to 90 and then they zoomed up to 135. Do you know what I mean? This is yeah. So it's and I can see it. I mean I I, I understand I understand why you know it's it's a market and it's both sides. Uh, you know because if you the the reality is if you if my reality Frank is that. <laughs> 
if you don't listen to the news, you're probably going to be pretty good <laughs> because, <Yes. laughs> you know, it's, it's I, a I lot better I've than the news. The national news report in 10 years. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, what I'm doing is I got a little play going here on CCJ, uranium stock. Yep. And it looks like a broker B point. And I want to do an ABC up. But I see it coming in to the range of a very high volume bar on June 7th that has 20 million shares traded. Right. Now, would you at all be skeptical that that ABC would complete because there's such high volume traded in that price range? So let's Maybe take a look at it. We get Kamiko. Kamiko, folks, is the largest uh, producer of uranium in the world. The low is 15, the high is 32. Right now, it is an ABC up. It took the B point out. Uh, your price projection is 25.43, so it's uh, actually almost made it. Uh, we, well, it did make it. We did make 25.46 today. That being okay. said, Frank, like, let's put this on the weekly because I, I suspect what we're going to have is this. See, if this dollar stays below this level, the, the benchmark level, I, everything's going to go yeah. up. Everything. You know, so, you know, yeah. I would say that the. Uh, you're over the 24.33, and that's where that is, and now you're going to be coming into this big brow that you're talking about. Now, what happens, the bottom of that is 24.61, so you're, you're into it, you know, and that's saying, yeah. hey, man, you can go to the top of it. That's how that's set up, you know. Okay. But I, I, I know okay. what you're saying. Right. There's no doubt about that, you know. Um, you know, and you get the, 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 the key... These equities want higher price, and if this dollar lays off like it's laying off, um, what happens, folks, is that if you, when you're coming off lows like this, this is, you know, like needless to say, the last couple of days, that would have been a great time to get in. The hardest time to get in is going to be in the next couple of days, because if this market explodes again, then it's going to be like, okay, man, <laughs> you will get a pullback, man. Do you know what I mean? It, that's just not how they operate. Yeah. But it could definitely go up another three or four percent without, you know, pulling back, and then all of a sudden everyone jumps in, and you know, I mean, you know, because I, I feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland these days. Well, there's there's no, I'm telling you, I, I know what you're saying, but it's not, it's not a but. But when you look at it, last weekend, no matter what, no matter where you looked. You know, bottom line inside the financial markets, folks, people would say, no, 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 it's got to go low, it's got to go low. Well, you know, the, yeah. bot the bottom line is that it doesn't. And the thing that's crazy, this is what's blowing my mind, Frank. And you've heard me say this, folks. This would be the most deviant move I've seen, really, in 30 years. And, and, and this is why. Because... I'm glad to hear it. No, it is because it makes zero sense... Like, if you try to fundamentally go through this in your head. Now, it helped me a lot. I can tell you this. That article I was talking about with the housing, it totally yeah. helped me because of the fact that once I got, I says, of course, the correlation. The correlation, man, is what rents are. That's all that, it, well, it, it, rates going up, yes, your signature's worth less money, for sure, okay? Yeah. Yeah. But because there were so many people that wanted to go buy, then all of a sudden they can't buy, so they're going to rent. So that's that's not going to affect, man. That's not going to have the impact of what it could have with the acceleration of interest rate structure because there's so many people that need a place to live. So, yeah. you know, it's like, I, I, you know, they're still going to be able to afford it, and that's a, that's a whole other picture. And... You know, I think that struggle is still going to be there because what has happened, bottom line, is that because of COVID and the amount of bread that got put, I believe, so this is what we've done, folks. COVID started in March of 2020. We put $6 trillion. The government put $6 trillion into the market. It did a couple of different things. It saved us probably from having a depression, number one. That was the first part. Yeah. The second part, however, it got the aspect of plenty of people don't want to work anymore. And I don't know if they'll ever come back to work. You know, that's, that's a reality. And then the third part, though, and this is where this comes back to real monetary policy again. And what the monetary policy is, is that if you remember, folks, years ago, everyone used to look at, you know, what is the M1 and M2? Well, the bottom line is that there was so much money in the economy 
dollar wise that everything has to get more expensive that's the real reality now that has been draining mm -hmm. off so the quick the quickness of their draining off is going to make well they hope it's going to make inflation go down and we'll see where that shakes out i mean and that's still that's still the wild card for sure you know what i mean yeah good luck good luck <laughs> well you know i mean that that's uh, we're all in this so there's there's not like one sector or one part of it you know uh this this i'd say one of the biggest parts of it actually is that yeah you know folks want more money and folks don't want to go to work but from experience what's going to happen is that the folks that don't want to work that's fine because if you don't work for so long then you're just going to stay at a certain level and that's where they want to stay that, that this their life man that's cool it'll get figured no, out not, and it will get it will get figured out by production place. and by computers and by chips you know what i'm saying so yeah hey i think about you every time i come out of the east boston tunnel now and see santapio's oh. i just uh, you know I say, hey, this Tom's. So, this so, Tom's favorite place. so, picture this, folks. Right, what Frank's talking about. If you're if you're going in and out of the airport in Boston, Logan Airport, go to Santapio's. It's amazing. It's an old time joint. They got amazing sausages. They got amazing pizza, um, and it's really different. Oh, the pizza's great. Isn't it yeah. great, man? I miss that yeah. place. Yeah, big time. Yeah. And then, of course, if you you gotta go visit Frank, if you see where Frank is up in Gloss, you see those big gray. They, well, so, so that they're granite rocks, right? Are they, Frank? Is, oh yes. Yeah. Yep. Right. Right. So yep. the the acceleration on the way up, folks, it's really cool. It goes like this, and it just keeps going, man. I mean, those rocks are really high when you're looking out. It's it's just beautiful. You can't go swimming high. in the water because it's too cold. But the lobsters, man, forget it. Get a lobster roll downtown, hey. you'll be in heaven, man. Cooking brother. A lobster fisherman right across the street from me. He does me good. Oh, isn't that cool? So so what Frank's yeah. talking about, folks, we have that down here too. When you're next to people that fish, you know what? It's really hard to go back to any markets and buy anything. Because guess what? You get it right off the boat, and right off the boat's a whole different ball game. It doesn't yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I used to like that frozen fish at the grocery store in certain places, but boy, I'll tell you, no more. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. It's, it's a great way to be spoiled, Frank. No, oh, I'm ruined. Cooking, brother. Have a great Thank one, you. man. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow at 512, Nasdaq's up 495, S&P's up 110. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 534. You get the NASDAQ up 500. S&Ps are up 114. So uh, after the close out here, we have, uh, let's see, you got Facebook, um, Etsy, Qualcomm, T-Mobile, uh, Bristol Myers, uh, and uh, what is this one? I love this restaurant too. I just haven't been to it for a while. Cake, Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. So, uh, bottom line, you got to get. Uh, let's go to Facebook for a second. So, uh, market, you know, bottom line had been worried about the aspect of uh, advertising. Google come out and said, "Hey, the advertising's still there. That's for sure." And it doesn't mean that it's on Facebook, though, folks. Let me, let's just go see what this looks like right now. Okay, so that kind of getting any traction. This is cool. This company should be banned anyway. Okay, so Facebook is down from 384. You trade 169. I'm going to put this. Oh, look at this, man. This actually went all the way back. Okay, the March low was 157. It hit it. Okay, let me put this on a monthly now. This, uh, this actually tested the March 2020 lows. And you get some volume. Holy cow, look at that. So, okay, so we were down on 680 million. That had 650 million. Interesting. So, hey, man. Yeah, this Facebook wants a lower price. Look at this. Facebook came down last month with 686 million. It was tested in the March low with 650. Yeah, this still this still can go lower, man. This is <laughs> and whoa, oh my, this 137 is open, man. That's that is something else. 137 is open. Holy cow, Qualcomm. Let's go take a look at Qual. Well, yeah. Let me. So Facebook is looking to bring 28, 8.9 billion to the top line, 254 to the bottom line. We go to Qualcomm, we take a look at Qualcomm. Qualcomm out here, the low for the year is 118, the high is 193. Uh, they are looking to come in with 10.9 billion and 286 to the bottom line, and Qualcomm has been a strong stock. That's the bottom line. Um, this will probably do another ABC structure up. Uh, it, Qualcomm did one ABC up. It's probably going to do another one. This thing's going to probably rip right through this uh, 156. If it is, it's going to be a monster. 156, 130. You're talking, uh, what, uh, 26 bucks. You get 176. 175. Where's 175? Yeah. If this, if, this, if this rips that B point, you get an ABC structure up to 175. So you're, you're talking some uh, real action out here, man. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big number. There's no doubt about it. We go take, where am I now? Okay, now I want to go inside the Dow Industrials. I want to go inside the Dow, see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow out here. 
Oh, that's what I want to talk about. Listen, you got you got to look at this, man. My, so Microsoft, folks, Microsoft comes out last night with numbers, right? And that if you happen to watch markets after after you know when they come out with numbers, it's amazing. It, now look, I'm looking at Microsoft. Microsoft's taking a swing point out, taking out with volume. Microsoft, when it came out with numbers last night, uh, it traded down to 245. Okay, it trade it closed at 251. Closed down to, traded down to 245, and then they had the conference call and went up to 265. Okay, amazing. Um, <laughs> and, you know, bottom line is that you get volume out here now, and this is going to blow away 269, 269. Yeah, you got, so if I take the top there, 269, the bottom, 245, 70, 50, what did I say? 50s, that's 25 bucks. That gets you 60, 76, 86, 91. This market's going higher, man. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 290. At 290, you get a nice volume bar. This Microsoft's going up to 290. We go over to Google. Let's go take a look at Google. Google also come out with their numbers. Uh, bottom line is that their advertising held up, and, and you know, right across the board, it held up. Um, not a lot of action, man. It's up eight dollars, but you know that that's that could be a lot uh, stronger, and uh, it isn't right now. So, uh, particularly on a day like today, you know, you get you get a day like today, and you know you you want to be aware of what doesn't go up on a dramatic basis. That's that's the real bottom line, you know. So we go take a look at the uh, whoops. I, and I am, I got glasses on it, come, folks. They're coming Monday or Tuesday. I hope they are. Okay, so now let's go over to Amazon. Amazon's on Thursday, as is Apple. We'll take a look at Amazon. And I, I suspect what's going to happen here. So watch what I think is going to happen. Facebook is going to come out with numbers. Their advertising is going to be basically pulling back. Amazon's going to come out with numbers. And, you know, we'll see if their advertising is going higher. I suspect it is, though, because the... It is, it is, well, it's not that they haven't changed their business. The bottom line is that their advertising has gone up dramatically. Now, that's on a shorter term basis. On a longer term basis, folks, okay, the bottom line is that that company that Amazon bought, the Medical One company, if Amazon can crack the medical business, that will be, that will go exponential. Uh, so just to get a, like a small understanding as what Amazon's trying to do here, they, they bought one medical. One medical has 35 offices in the United States, mostly in the uh, Western United States. What they, and, and the guy, the CEO Jazzy, who built out the cloud, is going after medical. That's his number one priority, and it should be because there's so much waste in medical. It's a $3 trillion business each year. Trillion, what it's he. So picture what he plans on doing. The press release is saying that this, this is where they're aiming for. And, you know, us all knowing Amazon, you know, this could happen. What they're aiming for is that, you know, I have, to, I, I have something wrong with me, right? I, I have, it's going to be a subscription-based business, okay? So you subscribe to, the, you know, this one medical, right? The bottom line, I'm on it. I feel sick. I get on my computer. I hit a button. I'll get an appointment within an hour and a half. OK, so you get you get an appointment with the medical doctor, probably a um, um, what is the nurse physicians? Um, the bottom line is that, you know, these nurses really are doctors. They, they have been forever. But now there's a uh, nurse practitioner. Now there's actually a, 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 le a connotation for it. So bottom line, you get that. Then what's going to happen is that they're going to guarantee that you have the visit. You get the prescription, and the prescription gets delivered to your house. You don't move out of your house, okay? Bottom line, if they can break that, you are going to see a whole different dynamic, uh, you know, in the medical business. And, you know, we'll see if they can break it. And I hope they do, man, because uh, that medical business takes all of us to the cleaners, literally, day and night. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 468. You get the NASDAQ uh, trading up 480. S&Ps are up uh, 101. Now, tomorrow, folks, uh, we're going to have Fred Ernest on, uh, the CEO of Vista Gold. That's going to be on uh, a 315. Uh, okay, so if you were uh, in the you know, metal market at all, bottom line, it's always a pretty good uh, take as to what's going on in the market. He's going to give us an update on Vista. I believe Vista is coming up with their numbers after the close today. Let me just see this. 28th, yeah. Oh, no, this is even better. Oh, I, th this is cool. This is, this is awesome. I knew this was going to be good, but uh, the bottom line is that he's coming out. He's, so he's coming on. I like it. He's come, Maybe he's coming on and let him out right down and there. He's coming on. He's coming on tomorrow, and they come out uh, after he gets off the air. So bottom line, you get a little, maybe you get a little preview um, uh, of uh, what, what's happening. You know, bottom line, I know we cannot disclose anything until it's disclosed right across the, the deal. But bottom line, um, check it out. So we look at the markets, deviant market, no doubt about it. Bottom line, folks, market wants higher price. You got uh, 65 million. Let me just see this for a second. It's not an ABC up because you needed 73. Guess what? No, you, it's going to be we're going to get 73 million, man. This is going to be an ABC up. Look at this. We're at 65 million. OK, and the bottom line, you get, you know, we get about well, four o'clock goes four o'clock, but the spy goes to about 410 with volume. We're going to get we're going to get seven, eight million shares. You get an ABC up. So you're a, check it out. Four hundred is a monster one, too. We did it before. So you get 26 A to B. 
That's just 90, so what, 90, 20, you got 410, 416. Oh, and 417's right there. Okay, all right, yeah. So June, June 1st, there we come, man. Uh, NDX, uh, I suspect, so, so now this is really cool because that's also saying that the, the queues, it's, that's also saying we're gonna get follow through tomorrow. So in the queues, the queues are going to go for it tomorrow, and the queues are ABC up. And folks, if you don't know the ABCs, go to the Amazon and get my book, man. I'm telling you. We had an ABC market down. It was great. Now we got an ABC market up. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.